Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you guys are doing great today. Um, if you're not, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully this video makes you a little bit happier. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can face swap and photo piece super easily. So as you can see here, I face swapped Mark Zuckerberg or no, Dr. Phil's face. I put Mark. Z okay. You know what? I put Mark Zuckerberg's face on Dr. Phil. That's what I did. And uh, it looks pretty insane. So I think this is going to be a good video. So you want to start with your picture. Here's Dr. Phil. And I want to put a picture of Mark Zuckerberg's face on Dr. Phil. So I got a picture of Mark Zuckerberg right here. All I'm going to do is just hit control alt T to resize it. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go over here to turn the opacity down just a little bit so I can see Dr. Phil's face a bit and I can line up both of their faces so I can like tilt it make his a little bit bigger and I want to line it up with each other so you just got to resize until it looks good I think that's pretty that's pretty accurate um, we'll go with this so now you can turn the opacity all the way back up to 100% now what you want to do is go over here to your lasso tool on the left side and click lasso select just outline his face so hold left click and just outline it. You don't have to start that high. You can just start a little bit lower and just get the main facial features in the selection. So here we got the selection. Now all you got to do is just hit control C and control V to paste the face and make it a new layer. So now you can just delete layer two. And here you have his face on Dr. Phil. Now what you want to do is right click on that face layer go to select pixels, go up to select, click inverse. And now it's all selected. Now you want to go back up to select this time, click modify and then expand type in six pixels and hit. Okay. So now the face is selected and right click on that face again, click select pixels. So now just the face is selected and I know it might've been kind of confusing, but we're almost done. So, now what you want to do is click on layer one and hit delete. And you can see if you hide that face layer, it deleted Dr. <laughs> Dr. Phil's face. And so now we're ready to blend it. So what you want to do to actually blend it. So make sure you have both the layers selected by hitting control and clicking on both of them. And now what you want to do is go back up to edit and click auto blend. And it might take a second, but you'll see the damage in a little bit. The damage has been done. There's no going back now. Yeah, it could have been better, but this is what we got so far. The main problem I see is at the top left. I maybe should have had some more face in there, but I'd say mission accomplished, I guess. I mean, I'm going to get nightmares from this, but it was worth it because now you guys know how to face swap. So you could like, I don't know what you could do, but you could do something funny if you want. That's how you do it kind of confusing but you can always come back to this tutorial to just rewatch that part whenever you need it and you'll be good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this interesting video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace